Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Edgar Star Power. So everyone surely knows by now, Edgar is such a strong ruler in the meta, especially due to the fact that literally everyone has Edgar available because uh, they got Edgar for free during the Christmas period. But now, uh, with the introduction of the new Star Power, both Star Powers are really good for Edgar. And I've been playing with his Star Power uh, for around 80 trophies from 1,100 to where I'm at now. And uh, just been playing and testing things out and both stop powers are really good as i said but we're going to be playing with young and benji we'll put both of the links in the description below but we're going to be doing some further testing and by the end of the video i'll hopefully come to a conclusion which to which stop power i believe is better for Edgar. so without further ado let's jump into it and i also nearly forgot to mention that starting tomorrow i'll hopefully uh, be daily streaming and also uploading daily content onto my second channel uh, doing the competition maps whenever they drop so make sure to check that out in the description below so yeah let's jump into the video all right guys jumping into the first game then so i've only got a couple of losses from 1.1k to 1.2k with this star power but just having a discussion with a few people on which star power is the better one so in terms of fisticuffs fisticuffs is really good in the situation against tanks uh, specifically because you can get that healing up but already i feel like even jumping on the likes of a b or a sandy it can be pretty difficult to actually confirm the kill because that one extra 1k damage that's two punches and may not seem like a lot but it does add up over time so we're going to jump on this ego here which should be able to win that gunfight pretty easily but yeah as i said 1k damage doesn't really seem like a lot at all but in in relative terms when uh, 1k damage on a b that that means you're going to be able to take the b down like basically instantly on impact of the jump uh which really does help in the gunfight and but especially because Edgar's really squishy as well, it enables uh, brawlers more time to kill you. So I should be able to pass this to Benju. He should be able to score here. Uh, but just by using this, it's still a good star power. It's still really good. I thought, me personally, it would be really broken. Uh, but I know for sure. And you guys probably be happy to hear that it doesn't seem as broken as uh, once decided. So, I mean, before people overreact on Twitter and other social medias, it's always good to try out the star power. Rather than getting it too ahead of yourselves. But looking like Benji should probably be able to score this. Okay, just an Edgar on defense. Let's try and trick shot it. Bye. So that's going to be the first game right there. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys. Jumping into the next game. And so we've got Cursed and Drage on our team at this time around. I'll put their links in the description as well. You know what? I'll put everyone's link in the description in this video. So we've got to wait a little bit for this gadget to pop. And we'll just jump straight onto Nita. So as you can see, I probably would have taken down Nita a little bit earlier. If I had the other star power there, again, I'm just going to jump on the Bolly, jump on the Rico, should be able to get all of them cursed. Should be able to walk this in, in. hopefully he's wasted a, uh, oh no, he's not able to walk that in. That was nearly a good team wipe uh, right there. But again, it's kind of hard when you're dealing with like percentages to see the true value in these star powers. You can kind of see a lot of times I do stay alive a little bit. Uh, longer. I'm not too sure in terms of how much more healing I do. I think it's like 50 more healing uh, or around that per per actual punch. So I'm going to just jump on this Nita. Already got half of my super back in that interaction. And uh, yeah, you can definitely, as I said, I've not really played Egos since the last set of balance changes. And you can feel this gadget nerf and it's for sure a good uh, nerf because before I could just use, use to pop it and then straight away, uh, like three seconds, jump on an enemy. So I'm going to jump straight onto this body. Should be able to get him down still. And then the Rico as well. This should be an easy goal. And I'm close to my super again. So the most important thing about Edgar, always, it doesn't matter what stop power you use, is cycling that super and over again. So I've still got two gadgets left. I'm just going to use them in case I mess up my jump. So, oh, yep, yeah, just like that. I messed up my jump. I didn't mean to do that. I did flick it a bit funnily then. But now I've got my super again. And popping your gadget whilst jumping on them is actually really good as well. So didn't really see any true value out of the star power in terms of those engagements. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, jumping into the next game. So this is where the star power should come into more of an effect against brawlers like Frank the Tankier Brawlers. Uh, in the long term, it should benefit you in this uh, stage. So I'm going to jump straight onto the Poco. Should be able to take him down. And the Franks already close to my next super. This should be an easy game for us, to be honest. But let me know also, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the star power. Which one do you think is better? I'm just going to say maybe an early prediction and just say uh, that people will be liking this heal star power uh, better than the other one. But uh, a lot of playtesting will be needed. I didn't even realize all of us got taken down there. Probably need to focus up a little bit here. That Frank just took us all down. But with a B and with the walls broken, this shouldn't be too hard to win this one in the long run. So I'm just going to pop my gadget again just so I've got it. So I've got, got that speed boost. Should be able to take down Frank. 
just a max in our way so should be able to score this one in oh curse just squeezing that one in so that's gonna be another win for us let's hop into the next game all right guys jumping into the next game three games away from the 1.2k uh egg i'll probably just leave it uh today just because i've got quite a few scrums ahead so won't be pushing it too much more after this video but should be able to kill this baron here interesting combat we've got a mortis and a baron baron is op probably not too much on this map i probably prefer a b or something along those lines or like a nita to uh, pair with this baron but when he's got no synergy brawlers with baron baron uh not gonna be doing too much dre should be able to score okay no i don't think we're gonna be able to score that we haven't got much hp to deal with it at least i've got my super for a respawn um Okay, nice. So, Brawlers, I want to jump on. Uh, for sure, this Byron Byron shouldn't be able to take me down. As long as he hasn't got his super, it should be an easy kill most of the time. So, this Mortis. Oh, is that a goal? Is that a goal? Oh, it's on the line. Damn, I knew. I kind of knew I, I missed that shot. That's a bit of a rip. A bit of a choke from me. I don't know any of my super. So, now I have to use my gadget for my third, for the third time now. So, now it's all down to me whether I can cycle well enough. I'm just going to use my jump just for a bit of speed so I can make sure I can take down that mortis because it don't really matter if you uh land on them specifically with this star power which is the good thing about it because it just gives you that speed boost allowing you to actually punch them much quicker so uh, we're going to be winning that game let's hop on to the next game all right guys only two games away from 1200 egg goal let's finish off the video with a few dubs so looking like i'm close to my super nice taps there by fabio i'm going to jump straight onto anita should be an easy kill for us and then the baron as well He's not going to be able to clear it in time, so it should be an easy walk-in for us. And uh, as I'm approaching the end of the video, I'm starting to come to the conclusion that I do like the other star power much better than 1,000 damage. And as I said, not doesn't seem like a lot of damage, but uh, honestly, this Fisticus one's not as broken as once seemed, uh, especially the brawlers that Edgar works best on. The squishy brawlers, the 1k damage really does help. I'm not really seeing uh, too many instances where the healing's actually keeping me alive and... Um, most situations most situations i'm getting frustrated because i can't just uh i'm literally like a couple of hits away from finishing the kill and if i used the other stop out i would have got the kills so that's kind of my conclusion with things so far so i'm going to use my jump here to try and get some uh distance away from them hopefully dredge can clutch up nice he's going to get the egg god down there and the nita as well really well played from dredge he should be able to maybe score if he uses fertilize to good effect against a baron Let's see what okay he's just waiting here so clever enough. I think he actually wasted his super by accident on that one. I can't jump on top of the Baron with a super, but now he's wasted his super. I can jump on top of the Nita. I'm going to pop my gadget as well, try and get uh, my... Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot. I can't do that in the 1v1 interaction. I can't just waste my super and jump on top because it does no additional damage. So I've got to use it in a different way. If I had the other one, I would have been fine because the uh, egg goal would have been basically dead. But now, okay, I'm just going to use my gadget here to get my super. I may it to jump on them here let's just jump on top of the knees on no not going to be to no effect see that's probably my fault that's using uh the super again for no reason whatsoever okay nice taps from fabio we're close to super though so even though we wasted our gadgets a few times still quite close fabio with the taps really well played from him i'm just gonna pass this ball up fabio does go down there but dre just able to get that probably should not pass them the ball though just because especially in ot barnes should be able to uh, work his magic okay nice super from drage i'm gonna try and protect drage here from the Edgar. Edgar's gonna be going in oh so i'm gonna jump on top of the bar run maybe if i got the ball i could have scored but he's gonna go down as well just see Edgar left and we're gonna be able to score that so one more game left 1.2k let's jump into it all right guys hopping into finally the last game hopefully we're all on brawl tv we should have a fairly decent comp with it this one frank's a really good matchup for Edgar for sure here so we've got a super already. I'm just going to use this to jump on top of them and get some good pressure. Probably going to go down though with a Frank destroying us inside of that one. So again, not really uh, managing. I know I jumped on top of the two people there, uh, but still didn't manage to stay alive as long as maybe I thought. And people probably think that, uh, just like me, that the percentage of the uh, healing that you get back is a lot more than shown. So Frank does miss super. But I'm going to jump on Frank because he's quite low. I'm going to pop my gadget as well just so I get a good cycle. Edgar, if uh, if Edgar was clever, probably would have jumped uh, for me then. I'm just going to wait a little bit. Just hit Edgar on a Frank on defense. Maybe we can make a goal happen. 
Oh, good job I didn't use my super there. I did try and flick that in. If I got that flick off, that would have been a goal easily. Fabio, 1v versus 3. The Franks opening it up as well. It's just going to be much better for the spike and the B just to pop off. Okay, looking like a Tara over here. I'm just going to go collect the ball. Frank, with a super? I can easily just jump over this, so I'm just gonna, not going to worry about it at all. Okay, nice. I do manage to dodge a shot in time. Okay, this uh, goes the only one left standing. Toro is super. I, uh, I don't want to challenge that at all. Fabio hooks the wall as well. Really well played from him. As Toro's healing, all that's pretty annoying. That is Frank with super. I do completely miss that, but with my speed, I'm able to dodge it anyway. So again, it doesn't really matter if you land on top of the people with his star power, which is why I kind of like it in that sense. You don't have to focus completely on jumping on top of them, uh, even though I just try to do exactly that. I'm going to pop my gadgets to try and save us in this one. Let's jump on top of them again. Oh, I do choke it. Ah, no, I thought I could have scored there. Fabio going to go down. Hopefully, Dredge can clutch up in time. At least he's bought us some time. All right. 30 seconds left. Uh, let's try and intercept this one. Okay. Uh, what should we do with this ball? Let's just pass it out. Probably should have just cornered that, actually. Yeah, should have definitely cornered that. That tower pet's going to be super annoying. I've just fed Frank super as well. We're going to jump over this. Okay. Maybe if Fabio can get it out in time. Nice. I maybe can score this. Let's see. Let's see if my super comes back in time. I should be able to score regardless. Nice. So that's going to be the final game of the video. It's been a super sway. We're not really spoke about too much the star power in the final game. But that's going to be the 1.2k I got right there. But that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you think of the star power. Um, which one do you got? Which one do you guys prefer? I'm going to say, uh, well, not 100%, probably like 75% leading towards uh, the hard landing one just because you enabled yourself to get more kills. But that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.